All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you some Stardew Valley. We're pretty excited about this. Now, let's get into it. So, we're just going to go ahead and start up a new one. Uh, okay, this is pretty cool. You get to name everything you can do. So, obviously, we're going to name our guy James. All right, let's get started. Ooh. It's that old guy. Whoa! What's with the cutlass upon the mantle? Jeez. <laughs> Look at that. Huh. It's like the uh, generic workplace here. Huh. <laughs> Look at the guy with the cowboy hat. <laughs> the wide eyes. There's me. Oh, that's not me. Never mind. That's a... Oh, there's a dead guy. <laughs> there's a dead guy on the right. Jeez, he's been working there for a while. I think I messed up the hair color a bit. It's okay, though. That's just been sitting in that drawer. James? Jeez. Dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connection to the other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to a place I truly belong. Jeez. I've, oh no. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy. Milt's Family Farm! It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's your perfect place to start your new life. This is my most precious gift of all and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name. My boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. Hey. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me. Will ya? Alright. How do you, uh, there we go. Bam. Autobus? <laughs> Autobus? What if they're walking in the bus? So it's like a pie and autobus. Oh, didn't think of that. Half a mile. Not bad. Jeez, getting roasted here. Don't listen to her, Hamas. Just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Anyway, you must be tired from a long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Why, thank you, Lewis. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have everything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. It's a pretty. This is a pretty cool game so far. I kind of like the graphics. Must be morning. Ha! <laughs> All right. Uh, check. Is that? Ooh. Parsnip seeds. New journal entry. You see 15 parsnip seeds. Hey, it's a little something get you started. Ha! <laughs> wink, wink to the mustache. So let's just clear some of this so we can put down those parsnip seeds. By the way, here's a tip for you guys. You, sh you shouldn't really cut out any of your grass until, until the fall because you're going to need it for winter. Or, I'm sorry, whenever you get a silo, which is where you store the wheat for your anim sorry, animals, 
you should uh, keep it here because then when you cut down the grass with your scythe it turns into hay and it stores in the silo so it's a tip for you guys so you don't have to buy hay just clear some way here also another trick is there's also sprinklers in the game um, so you want to have an area for your crops to harvest in a like, uh, three by three so the sprinkler can go right in the middle okay so I'm just gonna clear out some of these oh you do have an energy bar on the lower right as well so you gotta watch that all right I think now Oh, we have a watering can as well. And you can buy a... A, uh, Watering well or whatever that's called. But you don't really need to because you can refill it at the lake here. So that's kind of a waste. Alright, well, here it goes. It's aligned. Just... Yeah, yeah. Oh, I went one too far. And if you always make a mistake, you can use a pickaxe and it'll go away. So let's put down some of the parsnip seeds. Parsnip seeds here. Uh, how many more do we have? Seven? We could probably make another. Oh, I thought we need eight, but that's okay. We can still do it. And also, you need to water your crops daily so they don't die. And make sure uh, you don't plant any crops in between seasons because they will die. That's awkward. There we go. Make sure you just water them every day, unless it's raining. Rain kind of waters the crops for you. All right. Let's clear some of this debris. And in between seasons, there is some stuff left over. And make sure when you're destroying trees that you collect all the little seeds they drop because the seeds will plant themselves. And they'll become bigger trees later, which is a, a lot. Also using a scythe does not require any energy. As you can see, my energy bar is almost all the way down. It's because I've just been doing a ton of work because watering takes up a lot, as you can see. If you can see with the... Yeah, 86 energy left. Uh, yeah, you can also upgrade your tools. Alright. Just clear some of this fiber out of here. And there is some crafting recipes, like fences. Here's some sap. Let's make some torches. I'm clearing out the whole farm, as you can see it's a giant farm. It takes a long time. Yeah, see, there's giant grass fields over here. So you want to make sure you save that for when you get a silo. I'm just going to get rid of this in the meantime so I can plant. Alright, well, this has been a successful episode. Thanks for watching, as always. Don't forget to subscribe don't, and like the video. 
and to see you next time on Stardew Valley.